Floss Tube. Hello, Floss Tube. I'm Pam. And I'm Stephanie. And this, this is, is Matt. And this is Meg. <laughs> Look at him just sitting there like, like what is happening? What is happening? And this is Just, just Keep, Keep Stitching, Stitching, episode 353. Three. One plus one plus one plus 25 plus 25 plus 150 plus 50 plus 50 plus 50 is 353 plus Welcome back, everybody. We thought we'd give him a little uh, exposure on the internet. Yeah. On the really World Wide Web. Opening up his internet footprint, you know. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's, uh, he's been kind of a, a Sorry, buddy. crazy feline this morning. So Yep. We love um, that for us. We thought since he's on the loose. Yep. Give you a little peek mm. Um Life of Mac. We hope you're doing well. Thanks for stopping in. Yeah. Um, Hope everyone's having a great day. And we have a lot uh, mm. to talk about. A lot, lot is what? Is, what is what's what's the expression? Um, lot is the operative term. <laughs> Never heard that before. Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um, Anyway, I hope you've had a great week. Yeah, we had really fun week. Yeah, super fun. Actually, that seems like a long time ago now. No, but it was great fun. But, uh, yeah, so um, it's been a week and a day. Yeah. Yep. So uh, some of the things that uh, we've got lined up for you yeah. kind of um, fall on the very tail end of the Olympics. And mm -hmm. you'll, you'll understand mm -hmm. that because we yeah. uh, recorded on Saturday... Saturday uh, a week ago yesterday, mm -hmm. this is now Sunday afternoon, mm -hmm. because uh, we had a gathering at Barbara's mm -hmm. farm, mm -hmm. and Barbara is the owner of Keepsakes, mm -hmm. which is our local l &S where Steph works. Local l and Pam. Local l and I hate when I, I hate do when that. people say that. Because L stands for local. Yeah, so it'll be so local, So when you say local l and it's local, local, l Local, local. Local, local. <laughs> You're crazy, crazy. Living a big dialogue. Anyway, and that's why we recorded early and then yeah. put it out on, on the... On the internet on Sunday. On the World Wide Web um, yes. on Sunday night. But yes. it was actually recorded on Saturday. Right. Fooled ya. <clears throat> um, Fooled ya. But we had a lovely gathering. It was the Stitch Con team, team. Mm -hmm. and family. And a few auxiliary as well. Yeah, a few, uh, a few spouses, a few kids. Mm -hmm. Um, they have a pool, and mm -hmm. so uh, it was it was very pleasant. Yeah, it was great. And, um, Lovely Bar time. Barbara catered it, uh, and it was um, uh, using some uh, donations from some attendees mm -hmm. who said, um, go have yourself a little celebration. A little shindig. Uh, and thank you for StitchCon. Which so, was really, uh, really generous and wonderful. That was really wonderful. We yeah. had some great conversations around the pool, mm -hmm. and... Um, started talking about uh next year mm -hmm. so uh that was that was sunday yep and uh then um there is an exhibit that is going around the country yes should i talk about that now is that, go right ahead is that good go right ahead um which is called the titanic exhibition uh -huh. and uh the closest it's come to where we live is in columbus ohio mm -hmm. So, uh, what this is, is a, um, uh, an exhibit, an exhibit of artifacts yeah. and some history right. about the Titanic mm -hmm. and, um, which we love, which we're kind of, um, we're kind of obsessed with. I don't yeah. know. That's strong. Yeah. It's, that's it's, dramatic, but yeah, dramatic, but yeah, but we're very interested yeah. in the whole topic. Mm -hmm. Great. So, um, and we, like not just the movie. No, just like not the just the movie. Of, the history of the whole thing. Sure. And uh, honestly, um, I came away with a few little you know, nuggets. Did you? Yeah, a few a few little nuggets um, mm -hmm. that I we talked about on the way home. Mm -hmm. um, we love we love learning around here. You know, <laughs> always, 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 and of course, history for me. Sure. But um, it's very very cool. in looking at some of the things that were recovered off mm -hmm. of. Um, folks that perished uh you know the fashions of the day mm. okay 19 1912 mm -hmm. right yeah 
So that always makes me think of my grandparents' generation. The, sure. sh the shoes, the um, the gloves, the gloves, the the, the garments, jewelry, yeah. the way they dressed, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. um, and uh, uh, so even like the menu items. Yeah, yeah. Like um, wild. And the way they decorated the dining rooms mm -hmm. and so forth and so, so on. So cool. Um, there was a um, a model of the ship underwater as it's deteriorating. Mm -hmm. And you all have seen pictures. Oh, yeah. Stephanie said, I always called them, they look like icicles, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what they actually are, are they've been termed by the scientists, rusticles. Right. And because science, because science, right? Uh, the ship is basically Oceanic getting science. eaten away by uh, organisms mm -hmm. that feed off the metal yep. of the hull of the ship. Sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. And one of the most interesting, you know, if you go through a museum and there's there's written descriptions of things on the sure, wall sure, to sure. read. Right? Yeah, yeah, we yeah. took our time, yeah. which was great. Yeah. Um, but one of the most like wow moments for both of us, I think, mm -hmm. was reading that because of the deterioration, because of the ship being eaten away, mm -hmm. um, in about, and I know this is a long span of years, mm -hmm. but in about 40 to 90 years in the future. Mm -hmm. So, and there were families that went through uh, with kids and, yeah. uh, People have told me they've taken their kids, whatever, to this exhibit. Yeah. So think of little kids, school children. In 40 to 90 years in the future, mm -hmm. the ship will be, will be gone. Right. Nothing uh, at the bottom of the ocean. Of course, the most dramatic line I say has to be jumbled in my mouth. But the ship will be gone. Right. In roughly 50, 60 years. Right. That's kind of mind-boggling. Yeah, When it's you wild. think about it. Yeah. Because um, it's just sort of always been there. Also, cat fight. Um, also, um, at the very, very beginning of the exhibit, there is a plaque with the picture of the French. Uh, he was a fanatic. He was called Mr. Titanic. Oh, you yeah, remember? Yeah. He, he went took, down 37 times. He took a group down in a submersible, uh, what was it, a couple years ago? Yeah, the one that exploded? Yeah. Yeah, and that was they called think the Titan. It either imploded or exploded oh, or whatever. Oh, it imploded. And all the people perished, remember Yeah, him? yeah, yeah, because all the pressure at the, right. that level so, of the So, um, you know, he died doing what he loved, but he took a lot of people with him. I mean, yeah, um, crazy. So, crazy, crazy. that was interesting. And then, to think about the fact, just one more little tidbit from the exhibit. Um, of course, you know, first class, second class steerage, mm. and the... People that, and they, they, they did call it third class. Just side note. Watch out. Mm -hmm. Watch out. Whoa. Good. Okay. 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 Um, down in steerage, that's the cheaper, that's the cheaper. Tickets, that's the cheap right? seats, yeah. They did give it, give the ticket prices in today's money, which was very, um, Fascinating. illuminating. Yep. But, uh, those folks who came from most of them, the same economic class, mm -hmm. if you will, in society at that time in 1912, um, they had never experienced uh, toilets, toilets, mm -hmm. indoor plumbing, if you will. Yep. So in steerage, they had installed automatic flushing toilets. Mm -hmm. Wild. To take care of the fact that mm -hmm. these folks wouldn't know that you needed to flush. Right. Um, so, a rude awakening when you know, 1912, 2024, I mean, it's just, wild. it's just kind of wild. Yep. Um, uh, but so, if it's coming anywhere near you, maybe mm -hmm. you've seen it when it's been near you. I was trying to determine where it's going after did you say Vegas and it looked like Vegas, but yeah. uh, I don't know. It's a pretty well known exhibit. I mean, it came to Columbus from Chicago, yeah. um, and they have it, they basically set it up at wherever they can get space to do it. So, mm -hmm. um, how much longer is it in Columbus, do you know? I think September 2nd, something oh, like okay. that. Oh, okay, so it's a couple more weeks. And that was another thing. 
you know, when you go to a traveling exhibit and you go maybe toward the end of its run in your city, mm. sometimes things look a little worn out. Mm. Um, whether it's whether it's something that a lot of people have touched or um, it wasn't obviously there was no dirt or trash around or anything, but it just it's been there for its run. Well, each of the like artifacts like whether they were gloves or coins well, they're all under glass or... and they're in temperature control yeah 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 so yeah. you know yeah these are they're but, very well taken care of but anyway that's one thing and everything looked fresh yeah, to yeah, us yeah. and we're at the tail end of its run yeah in columbus and also um there was something else i was going to say about um <laughs> uh i don't remember Okay. But uh, just to kind of tie it back into uh, what the channel is all about, yeah. um, I asked Stephanie to bring the um, Titanic cross stitch that I did yeah. many, many years ago. And as yeah. I'm talking, she's kind of brushing the... Well, it's the, been on the wall for a while. It's been on the wall a while. It's actually in our half bath. Yeah. And, and nautical um, I cannot tell you the year I stitched this. Nope, couldn't tell. But it's a, as full coverage as I'm going to get. And I believe it was a kit. Yep. Sorry for the glare. But, um... I mean, Pam, it is fully full coverage. Yeah, it is. Okay. I, I can't believe I did a full coverage. Um, but, but isn't it amazing? It's one of the nicer Titanic cross-stitch designs. Seen, yeah. There are several, I think, yeah. out there. There yeah. was also another small that I've stitched that's in the under-the-bed box that yeah. was just... The white star line logo? White star line flag. And it was on white, yeah. and the letters were red. Right. And I, I've never done anything with it. Mm -hmm. I'm keeping an eye on him. It's fine, man. Okay. Um, so that was an enjoyable day. We got yeah, was great. some early dinner up there and mm -hmm. came home, and, and we were thrilled to have gone. Um, yeah. gone. And it was one of those ones. I don't yeah. know if the, I mean, this exhibit's been around for a while, so it was Has one it? of those ones. Yeah, so oh, in know. some variety. Okay. So it's... Um, oh, I know what I was going to say. Okay. Can you hold your thumb? Yeah. Because I won't hold mine. Okay. Um, you got a little card. That's what I was going to say. Oh. No, it's fine. But go. Go. No. Nope. Shoot. Anyway. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> anyway, you got story. a little card with a description of who you are are yep. on the ship yeah right maybe, maybe other exhibits do this as yeah well. they do yeah yeah and then you scan the QB, uh, qbc <laughs> the qr code the cbs yeah <laughs> abc one yeah, yeah, yeah. um you scan the uh qr code mm -hmm. at the end of the exhibit to see whether you lived or died right 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 i've been to another exhibit where it was like that and i yeah. wish i could remember it was the one down at union terminal what was it about, though? Titanic. I touched the iceberg at Union Terminal, too. Well, this couldn't have been the same exhibit. Well, probably not, but it was some other variety of it. Well, anyway, needless to say. Yeah. Uh, both of us died. Both of us died. <laughs> but Pam pulled an aster, uh, and I, I really was thought Jack that she was going to... And he was the richest man on the boat. Yep. And um, he okay, didn't make Pam. it. <laughs> you were a second-class passenger, yep. right? Yep. Right. Smith. Somebody. There were little films throughout. It, it was, was very great. interesting. Yep, it was really So great. anyway, and there's the cross stitch of uh, Titanic yeah, that yeah, I did yeah. many, yep. many years ago. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, so that was really fun. And yeah. then um, the other line item for business um, is about New York Marketplace. Um, so we live in Cincinnati. As Pam said, our local needle workshop is Keepsakes. I work for Keepsakes. Um, and the fall wholesale new release show is next weekend. Okay? Oh, he's in the bag in the kitchen. I was like, what is he in? He likes to get in bags. Just, you put a bag out, he's in it. Okay, head first. So, I went to Trader Joe's yesterday, and that's what he's in. It's a Trader Joe's okay. bag. Um, so, anyway. So, um... Keepsakes is taking pre-orders, so if you are out there perusing the internets and you see things that are coming out at Needlework Marketplace uh, and you need a shop to purchase them from, we are happy to do that for you at Keepsakes. Um, if you go to the Keepsakes website, there is a link 
to a gallery that is constantly being updated with photos. Um, and then also, um, there's a link to a wish list form that you can fill out and submit if you would like to do it that way. Um, you can also always just call the shop or you can send us an email. I'll put all of our contact information down below. Um, but preferred modes of contact in regards to getting us your marketplace pre-orders are phone, email, or wish list. Please do not send me a message privately on my private social media pages. Because I think we'll get lost. And I don't want that to happen to you. So. Um, but our deadline is Wednesday. Um, the Wednesday before at 5pm. Um, and the show starts Friday. And shop's close Thursday. So. Um, I am excited about it. It should be a good time. A lot of new designers this year. So make sure that you are taking a look. At the new stuff. Absolutely. So. Alrighty. Okay. Uh, we're going to talk about. My Little Mystery Project. What? Oh, yeah. Okay, sorry. I didn't know what you were talking about. My Little Mystery Project. Um, so, okay. So, just preface a couple sentences. Uh -huh. um, it is uh, heading towards the end of August. And um, that means that we are getting ready to maybe take some things down that are more summer related uh, and change out our wall. Uh, we typically do a tour, what we call tour de wall, um, which is uh, a show place of everything that mm -hmm. you might see on our video, but you can't see the whole room. Um, so that's how we do that. Yep. So um, this year in particular, I, um, I, Asked Stephanie to um, put up everything, put up everything, summer and patriotic. Yep, just and it's cover been the walls. just delightful to have everything around Absolutely. us be yeah. summer and patriotic. Mm -hmm. Really, and um, so I thought when we did that, after you mm -hmm. know, spring stuff came down and we put all this stuff up, and yeah. I thought, you know, some of this stuff I stitched a long time ago, mm -hmm. that's okay. I'll have all summer, summer to, research. to research some of these so that we identify the designer and the name of the design and mm -hmm. who stitched it. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we are at the mm -hmm. end of August. August. Pam has and, no idea. <laughs> and I haven't started that little research yet. Right. And when I started, on the wall that I started thinking about it, mm -hmm. I didn't remember either the designer or the name of the design. Right. So I plastered it up on Facebook and Instagram. And you haven't got any responses yet? I did get two great responses from Gals Back East, Amy and Lynette, uh -huh. who knew the designer. Uh -huh. And um, it is by Madero's Needlecrafts, and she was Back East. Weird. Um, so I have a designer. Maderos. Okay. If you remember back about six months ago at Stitch Away, mm -hmm. uh, Barbara had some of our friend Vivian's framed uh, cross stitch mm -hmm. that she um, did as door prizes because Vivian right. no longer stitches and has also downsized. Right. And... So when Barbara held up a piece called Nantucket Basket, um, wouldn't you know, I got it, which mm -hmm. I was thrilled to get. Right. What I realized today is that that Nantucket Basket that Vivian stitched and I have framed, mm -hmm. same designer, mm. Madero's Needlecraft. So Interesting. Uh, I stitched it in 2007. Yep. Long time ago, yep. and I know it was Madero's. I have even tried sending Melinda Madero's a Facebook message, really, which she has not responded to. Mm. So, okay, I'm going to show it, hoping that maybe our wider floss tube audience might know the name of this, and okay. it probably has blueberry in the title, probably. And this is what it looks like. Again, sorry for the glare. 
So it's got it's this got cute row of bees up top. Bees and blueberries I and love this basket. my name and I think the month and the year and of course the basket. Yep. Yep. So if you know the name, happen to know what the title of this is, Madeiros Needlecraft. Okay. Okay. All oh right. All righty. So let's do some 20 minutes in, do some stuff we normally talk about. All right. Ready? Uh, yeah. Click, that means it's time for Pam's pin comment. Sure does. And I would guess that most of the comments uh, on our last video were attempts to use the magic word, word for the giveaway. Yep. So I thought this was particularly creative in how she did it. Yep. This Love it. comes to us from uh, Bon Car 55. So that's probably uh, an abbreviation of her first and last name. Yes, I would think so. And this is what she wrote. Love it. L is for laugh, which you make me do every week. O is for outfield, where I find myself most days. S is for Steph. What else could it be? Obviously. T is for treasure, which describes you both to this stitching community. That That's almost it. rhymes like a poem. That's really nice. That spells lost. Thanks for another fun video. So, uh, Bonnie, maybe? I'm guessing. Sure. I mean, that sounds um, great. Or Bonita? We don't know. But uh, I love it either way. Thought that was a very clever way to um, comment using the word lost. Yes. I pinned that to the top of all the comments from last week's video, and we thank you very much for all of your wonderful comments using the word lost. We surely do. Okay. Alrighty. Hey. Ready? Yes. That means it's time for silver and gold. Sure that, does. That is our floss tube shout out. Someone who is fresh on the floss tube horizon Ooh. and um, someone who has been around a little bit longer. So our silver floss tuber is in Canada. We Ooh. love our Canadian floss tubers. Yes. And this one is Catherine at Catherine Allen. And that's A-L-L-A-N. Catherine, and it's Catherine with a K. Yeah. Catherine. Yes. And she uh, was a little bit nervous. She's only done one floss tube. But let me tell you, she is a peach. If you've been to Stitch North recently, maybe the spring one, oh. uh, she was there. And um, she is jumping in with both feet. We love it. She loves... Better, better than one foot, you know? Yeah, loves Bella Filipina. And she's done oh, some cool. beautiful, beautiful pieces. Yep. Shannon Christine also... She's doing the Deadly Aquarium, if you're interested in oh, that. Oh, from Lola. And she has a Whipco board. Uh, so go check out Catherine. She is adorable, okay. and she's um, she needs encouragement to just keep them coming. So We um, love a good Canadian. Thank you, Catherine, for jumping on the floss tube uh, scene, and um, we hope you keep making videos. Yes, uh, please You're a do. delight. Um, our gold floss tuber this week is our dear, dear friend, Alexis from Alexis, My Amazing World. Many of you, especially if you've been to StitchCon. Uh, I love Alexis. No, Alexis. Uh, Alexis is out in Colorado. We love it. And uh, she's been on floss tube a couple of years. Um, she's taken some, uh, at least one fairly recent big break. Um, and... Um, in total, she's made 15 videos. She is an absolutely adorable young woman. I'm obsessed and, with her. Um, I love you, Alexis. In her last uh, video, she showed an out-of-print primitive needle called mm. Tombstone Spots. As so a cute. primitive needle collector, I was particularly interested because the photo on the front of the chart does not do this justice. No way. The colors were beautiful, and she had framed it perfectly. 
the uh she also is doing the mirabilia um royal games um and there were two oh, i love that yeah yeah, yeah. one yeah. and two and i can't remember the one that you um showed alexis whether it was Roman number one, one or, or two. Roman number two. Yeah, I but she held it up really close to the camera and her stitching is beautiful. Obviously. So, um, big hugs to Alexis and we love seeing her. If and, you haven't checked her out, what well, you're missing out. Yeah, she's a lot of fun. She's yes. just a lot of fun. She is. So, um, there's two floss tubers for sure to go check out. Yes. And um, give, so them, do that. give them some consideration, please. Please do that. All right, let's talk about stitching finally, shall we? We shall. What have you been stitching, Stephanie, this week? Well, you know, just one thing. <laughs> oh, I mean, I, this would be the most boring channel if it was just me, you know, from a cross perspective, because I'm just busy, you know? And sometimes at the end of the night, I'm like, I really don't want to stitch. I just want to sit here and watch TV and cuddle with Mac, you know? She asked me last night <laughs> if we were at the end of the Red Sox game and and, she, and I had kind of tidied up my area and was waiting for it to be over. And she said, do um, you feel like you have to always be stitching, watching television or whatever? Mm -hmm. And I said, oh, I can't just sit and watch something. To each their own, you know. Um, sometimes just the show is just so good that I'm just like, <laughs> you know, or like when we watch the women's basketball game at the Olympics, mm -hmm. I just, yeah, it, everything goes so fast, I can't keep my eyes off of it, you know. Um, I mean, it's not that I don't want to stitch, obviously, I want to stitch, but sometimes I'm just so into the program, you know. <laughs> anyway, the my whip for this week is, um, I'm going to finish this, you guys. I'm going to do it. One oh, of these. it'll be finished by next week. I appreciate the confidence, Pam. But we Holy also have... Holy cow, there's not much... Pam, I got a lot going on. <gasps> you know? <laughs> if I don't finish it, don't... Don't be don't ashamed. Um, so this is called My Friend's House from Blackbird Designs. I just have this middle section left to do down here at the bottom. So, I got the houses done this week, so that's exciting. Yeah, I mean, that's a lot for you for the week. Yeah. Both houses. Yep. I feel. Thanks, Pam. So, and I recharted the initials at the top. So, um, that's the designer's initials, Alma and Barb. And so, I recharted them to be... Kevin Kenyon and Stephanie Schaffner. There will be a second S in there, I promise. And then that's all I got for this one. And then it's done. So I would love to finish it this week. That would be incredible. But it's also the week before a wholesale show. So, yeah, pray for me. Um, what the heck? Okay. So, yeah. So, um, and then in case you are curious, the fabric is 40 count linen from color and cotton in the color i think it's corn husk yes corn husk what count 40 whoa so um so my goal obviously for this week is to finish it so we'll see what happens yeah you know we'll see what yeah. happens so that is all I worked on this week because I'm boring. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, now for the exciting part. Pam's whips. <coughs> Pardon me. If you thought last week was fun. <laughs> yeah, and we have a few loose ends to tie up on that too. Uh -huh. But um, I had another start. I think this is number 16 of my 24 starts in 2024. And um, I... Uh, right away switch fabrics um only because in looking at this um i discovered a few things i didn't realize so this is across the sea sampler from chessie and me mm. linda lauten slogger i love that she still puts real photographs on her patterns yeah 
It's yeah. my favorite thing of life. So I started this on a linen. Mm -hmm. uh, I honestly don't remember. And then I started in the upper left-hand corner, which is traditionally where I start. Okay. And this border has two, uh, what do I want to say? Two rows, two rows. It's a double row border. Can't really see it. It's pretty though. Uh, but the outer Trust, border is a four-sided stitch. Yeah. And Linda's very good about her stitch diagrams in her charts. Um, and when I started to put them in the way Linda instructed, which was the correct way, mm -hmm. the linen was too loose of a weave. And all of my little squares were kind of leaning. They weren't standing up like little toy soldiers right. like I they wanted them to been. be. should have been. So I thought, this I'm not happy with. So I looked around in our stash and came up with a, this is a continuation maybe of last week, mm. but I came up with a Lugana. Yeah, because it's sturdier. Because it's more stable mm -hmm. in terms of the weave. And I picked out a 32 count Lugana from Color and Cotton. And the colorway is willow which is a great neutral it is great and what i ended up doing was using one strand on 32 lugana is that how you're doing the whole thing is yes. one strand yeah i love that it's my kind of my new favorite thing if i'm being honest is one thread on 32 i count. think it depends on the dyer yeah for you um and Sometimes I'm not happy with it because I'm kind of a coverage nut, mm. but this works. So I started the first, I'm going to say that's maybe nine or ten of the four-sided stitches, and they look great. So um, this was as far as I got, and I've been working on it this morning too. So those squares way up in the corner mm -hmm. are the four-sided stitches. Yeah, you can see them for sure. And oh, I love it. So, so then I pretty. started pulling out the I think it's pelican gray, okay, of the second, yeah, inner border, right. And at that point, I think I showed you and I said, This is gonna be great, mm -hmm. yeah. I so, could not agree more, yeah. So, um, it's beautiful, Pam. And looking back on that primitive moon. Freedom Train that I started and it was so so dense. It was also a 32 count Lugana from Angela and maybe I'm gonna go back mm. and try one strand and see how it works. If I don't like it, we did get some 32 count linen. We did. And it has come. We're not gonna show it, it's no <laughs> yeah. big deal. Yeah, yeah. But it's the same color or similar to what I had started freedom train on pam i think this is just blueberry sampler why do you say that well i found a page that has a bunch of her stuff yeah and i mean look at cranberry sampler oh that's hers yeah that makes sense then i mean look at the font it's yep. basically the same that makes sense that's what we're gonna call it generically yeah i mean for now. she has other things with baskets but they're not right. They're not the same. Okay, so it's probably just blueberries. That's what I've been doing over here. Is yeah. Because I didn't know we were doing And like, see, look at Lavender Sampler. Okay. It's the same vibes. Yeah. You so know? it could be just Blueberry Sampler. That's what we're For some reason, it. I can't find any picture that has the Blueberry one on it, but... I know. I've searched and searched. It, that's just strange. That's why, we're, that's why we're throwing it up. Yep, 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 yep. So anyway, that this is Across the Sea Sampler mm. from... Chessie and me. Yep. Beautiful. And that's my uh, 16th new start for 2024. Yeah. So there's that. Thank you. And that and that. Yep. Got it. Love and, it. And this. Too. Yep. Yep. Okay. And now we'll go back to, because we we recorded a day early, Uh huh. there were still two nights of Olympic stitching. Right. One was stitch something as part of a series. That was Saturday night after we recorded. I mean, the Olympics broadcast was yeah. when we watched it. 
And so I pulled out a series from the Drawn Thread. Mm -hmm. This was a Sal, is a Sal. Is a Sal. Oh, baby. Uh, hosted by um, Stitchy Linda, mm -hmm. who is on Floss Tube with Chrissy. Isn't it simply awesome? And it's a simply awesome Sal. Yep. So what... Um, what the idea was, was to do all of the drawn threads from the Simply Seasons. Mm -hmm. And this is Simply Winter, if you recall. But do them in a, in a vertical arrangement. So if you're very observant, you'll notice that at the very top of the four season arrangement is Autumn. But I decided that I would do them, sounds silly probably, but I would do them in the order of the James Taylor Winter, song. Spring, summer, and fall. So I started with winter at the oh, top. Yeah, yeah, it's cold. <laughs> and, and I'm breathing, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm still. You got a friend. So I'm. <laughs> so My favorite I'm, thing I do. Okay. So, <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nowhere does it say the um, name of the fabric. It says 32 count linen. Well, this is the diagram. Just oh, so you know. Oh, it's Mackinac Fudge. Thank you. From Rachel. Needle Flex. Needle and Flex. And um, I'm still on winter, but I made some progress. Uh-huh. Because I finished the house. I love this fabric. I love this color. Um, it's so pretty on that horse just, she is. I know. So I'm starting with winter because of the song that you just heard. Wind? <laughs> Don't worry, I won't do it. So I finished the house and I continued a little bit more on the alphabet. Yep. So that's what it looks like. That looks so great, Pam. Yep. I've got it all. Yep. No lack of confidence here, people. Okay. Well, no, I was thinking about something else. That's uh -huh. why I just blew you off. Right. Um, <laughs> I'm used to it. It's fine. Um, I've got it all measured out and so forth. Yeah. Um, for how many spaces between the four seasons. So that was my, um, modern pentathlon <laughs> stitch something that is part of a series. Right. I've got it. So that was a week ago yesterday, Saturday. Yes. Understood. And then Sunday closing ceremonies was stitch something you plan to complete in 2024. Mm -hmm. And the reason I plan to complete this is I started this at our crockpot retreat last September, and we're almost there. Come on, This Pam. was published. Oh, we're good. This was published in Just Cross Stitch Christmas Ornaments 2023. It's from Sarah at Mod Cross, and it was called, is called, Ready for Takeoff. Mm -hmm. Isn't he cute? Look at him. This, did you say this already? I'm sorry. That this pattern is being released as a standalone pattern. I was getting ready to, but go ahead. By Mod Cross right. at the Needlework Marketplace. Yes. With a companion piece called Ready for Landing. Adorable. Which is a polar bear who is dressed up like the guys who are on the tarmac. <laughs> <laughs> you know what we mean. With that the was the best thing we've ever done. Yeah. I just want you to know that. So I stitched a little bit more on... Ready for land, ready for takeoff. Take off. It doesn't look we gotta like take much. take off before we land, Pam. This is his eyes and some of his headgear, oh, yeah. and it's on navy blue, even when you hold them. And it's so freaking freaking cute. It's going to be adorable if I could get going on it. Look at it. So, adorbs. If, if I don't have it done before the crock pot retreat, I then will. you're not allowed to come. <laughs> But I will be bringing it. Yeah, why don't you bring it to put your final stitches in? <laughs> That's a funny joke. What do you mean? Why is that a funny joke? Because I don't know that I'll be ready for final stitches. Well, but then you need to get your life together. Okay. Okay. What are you um, the other one that I worked on was our Mondays with Miss Montgomery. And that is our Tony and my Sal of... Anna Green Gables. Yeah, yeah. 
and I'm pretty proud of myself. Yeah, I'm it looks down, pretty great. I'm down in the, um, I guess you would say the third section, and I'm actually stitching not only Anne, but the flowers. Mm. This is Stitching Book Club, and they have several, several designs based on books. Look at her sitting there. And um, someone who had um, Lisa brought down, she lives in Columbus, she came to the shop on Friday. She brought this framed. Okay. Oh, and, and I'm going to frame it just like hers. Hi, Lisa. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because I... I mentioned um, on her Instagram. Yes, post, yes, yes, yes. She told me about that whole interaction. Yeah, and, yes. she, and so I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, grab Lisa and find out where she got her. Please frame. don't assault Lisa, Pam. No, but I mean, it's, it's a green frame and it's beautiful. It's so pretty, Pam. Yeah. But she, she was, I believe. Oh, Lisa, I think that she was also actively working on Emma. Maybe. Do you have any interest to stitch that one? No, no didn't think but, so. But um. We might tag um, or put Lisa's Instagram account um, in the notes okay. so that you can see the frame that Lisa um, um Do we know used. off the top of our head what her Instagram I will, is? I will look it up when you um, do the notes. Oh, okay. So so that's where I am on Anne. And that oh, is, I found it. Yeah. Here. Yeah, there it is. Isn't that just about perfect? It's so beautiful, people. It's mm -hmm. so beautiful. Yeah. So... Yeah, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. I did have to darken her straw hat a little bit based on my fabric. Yeah, my my fabric is of a shade that the called for is. I just had to go like two yeah. numbers no darker. No big deal. Okay. Okay. Um, next. Next. So myself for the past week, I have a spin the wheel, mm -hmm. and it came up with Al Forest Treasure Island. I also made good progress on this. My sal wheel is working perfectly. Is it? Yep. Um, and I like seeing some um, great progress. Mm. I got the free chart from Al Forest. You can still get it. It is, I will say, it's a little confusing in that you get both the Russian and the American mm. words. So... Sometimes you have to go through several pages of each Language. section to find where you want. Got it. Now, when they first released the sal, they had it divided up into sections. Okay. So, if you remember, we've had a prior discussion about how long is a sal a sal. Right. In my case, a sal is until I'm done. <laughs> yeah, okay? that's the thing, yeah. And so, since basically the sal has all been released in all of its sections, I'm doing it in the order that I want, not the order of the sections. Got it. To me, the sections are kind of split up in a funny way. But anyway, I got the threads from Al Forest. Tell us how you really feel, Pam. I got the threads from Al Forest and mm -hmm. the needle minder and found okay. my own fabric. Okay. So what I was able to do this week, and I think I worked on it this morning. So I think this is it for this rotation of, okay. of this. So I'll spin the wheel in the morning on Monday. Yeah. But I was able to finish the ship it's and Dr. Livesey. And this morning I put in the sea serpent. So that's why I say I'm done because I worked on it today. Yeah. So it's really looking great. I'm thrilled with the colors. Um, so is that where you did, I mean, that's the sea serpent right there, yeah. Yeah, yeah there's a whale on the other side of the ship right. that I haven't put in yet. Right. But the way they divided up the sections, it wasn't quite time to do the sea serpent, but I said, what the heck. You right? said, screw it, I'm doing the serpent. I'm going to find the page where the serpent is, and I'm going to put it's it in It's adorable. There. I love yeah. it so much, Pam. So, um, great job. I remember when I had this up at the Crock-Pot Retreat mm. last year in September. And Melissa said, um, I was working on this ship way up here in this corner, mm. this black, mm -hmm. this black ship. Yep. And she said, you know, Pam, she said, this is one of the, um, my, one of my favorite things that you're stitching on. 
Really? Yep. Yep. So, anyway. So um, I should be excited to see it in person then. So, maybe I it. will take it up to the lake this year. Oh, it's exciting. We're all paid. We're all paid. It's, oh, almost, it's yes. almost here. Yes. Very exciting. And a few of our working ladies are ready. Mm -hmm. Those that are looking forward to a break. I mean, I think we're all ready. You know what I mean? Well, well I think so, too. We status. always have a great time. We always have a great time. Yep. Okay. Um, so, <laughs> did you just hear that? That was not a cow. No. That was a... Oh, speaking of cow. Oh, God. Do you... <laughs> this is totally random, but as I'm going to forget... one is not in the window. I'm going <laughs> to... <laughs> no, there's no cows in the window. I'm going to forget to tell Pam this if I don't tell her right now, so sorry about this. <gasps> Quick. Okay. Do you remember last night when we were watching the game with the Air Orioles and they were booing their own player and we were like, why are they booing him? Um, let's see. They were playing Baltimore. Uh-huh. And we were like, we thought they were booing us. They weren't booing us. They weren't booing either. They were mooing? They were mooing because? for Colton Cowser. You know, and, and I it thought... was Colton Cowser Jersey Night, so everyone got jerseys, and there, it's a whole thing with what the... a name, Colton Cowser. Well, I mean, it's I a baseball names, name, huh? I love names. It's... I love names. <laughs> it's a it's a uh, play on words, obviously, right? Yeah. And so people had like cow print hats on. Oh, He's about baby, to jump back! <laughs> no, I don't want you to jump there. Please don't jump there. Well, let him go. Just a little boop on the butt. Um, so anyway, so speaking okay. of Cal, because I was like, why? They really do not like him in Baltimore because it's that moo and boo when a whole crowd is doing it. You can't. Can't tell. Yeah. Unless you know. Okay. So, well, that's kind of cool. Yeah. All right. So we're in the second half of yeah. August. Yes, we are. And so that meant for me mm -hmm. to go to my second whip go call. Yeah. So my second WIPCO call was a Birds of a Feather mm -hmm. called Good Things. And I love this. It's a picture of a guy fishing. And my dad was a big fisherman. Mm -hmm. not, not like a big fisherman, but he, he liked to fish a lot. Not yeah, that he yeah. was like a famous or, you know, yeah. anything. If you know, you know. If you know, you yeah. know. If you know, if you're big in a fish, <laughs> then you anyway, might have not have heard of it. I found this chart um, after it was a group of ladies from New Mexico. Mm -hmm. You know who you are, uh, who were all sitting together at StitchCon two or three years ago, up in the corner, okay. and one of them was stitching this. And I love birds of a feather, and so I was like, okay, I'm on the hunt. So I found it. And um, I hadn't really gotten too much done on it. What are you doing? <laughs> Playing footsie with the cat? No, he took my slipper. Oh, he took he's slipper. got his whole head inside my slipper. I mean, he's out of it now, you know, but he's Does just it going to... He likes to, the smell of your feet? I mean, maybe. I got socks on. It's fine. Well, anyway. This is the most off-the-chain floss tube ever. Um, I am stitching this on... What am I stitching this on? I don't even remember. 32 Wait, count putty. Oh, the putty. Oh, the putty. <laughs> the putty. Well, it gave me fits less yesterday. Let me tell you. It was a All I had in, house in when I picked this up to stitch on it mm -hmm. was a bit of the border mm -hmm. and the one bird. Okay. Mm -hmm. Which meant that I needed to count down from the bird to the top of the Fisher hat. Fisherman's hat. Fisherman's hat. Yep. So first, when I counted down, I was off. Right. And I only discovered I was off when it uh, got close to the border. Mm -hmm. So out they come, the stitches. Mm -hmm. Then, after mm -hmm. I've stitched the hat then... in again... I realized that instead of six stitches across at the top of the hat, I stitched seven. Which is not the same number. <laughs> Just in case you're right <laughs> So, frog again. But I love this linen. I told Stephanie, I love this linen. This is um, Wichelt. Yeah. 
Nope, he's gonna Ooh. come anyway. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> Sorry. I just don't want him to go up there. I know you don't, Pam. That's why he's not going to. It'll be fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, so he's finally in. After a couple of floss tubes and the beginning of the ball game last night, I mm -hmm. worked on his finally. face, his profile of his face. Yeah. We were watching the Pete Rose documentary. Oh, well, the goodness. first episode, at least. Well, <laughs> so good. Yeah, but of course we're here in Cincinnati. Uh huh. We are, um, and we will be. And uh, I said every time there was a glimpse of a court house, house I said that's my courthouse because oh, yeah. when he was arraigned in front of Judge Spiegel. We all went up from the third floor to the courtroom, Judge Spiegel's courtroom. Oh, yeah. To see Pete Rose Iconic. go before the judge. Mm -hmm. uh, really good documentary. Was it on Netflix? HBO. Oh, HBO well, Max. I guess Max is what it's called yeah, now. HBO Max. Yeah. So anyway, so anyway. during that show, I was able to get him in, and you can see his arm is extended, and there's going to be a big, long fishing pole. Yeah, we had to watch, not had to, but we had to watch something because the game oh, was Oh, that's delayed, right. Remember? The game was on, yeah, Rain Delay. Rain Delay. For about an hour. Yep. Okay. Um, right. I am hurrying to get my monthly marker in for September. Yep. I don't know that I'm going to make it. Oh, Pam. I don't know. But this is one of the cutest months. I'm doing this. You say that every month. I just want you to know that. September snapshot from Pine Mountain, mm -hmm. Sandra. And. Um, Sandy. <laughs> No, I've never met her. Um, <laughs> I know. That's why it's funny. <laughs> so this is the guy. Um, this is the guy. That I posted the other day. This is the little boy he running. Is. Do you think he's running to or away from the school I bus? I think he is. Well, I guess it could be either one. Well, I need you to make a decision. <laughs> is he running away? Well, I think he's running to. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, I think he's running too because he's too put together to be coming home at the end of the school day. Yeah. He'd be dragging his knapsack. His knapsack, knapsack Pam? Knapsack. What are we, in 1940? In a knapsack. Who has he's, a knapsack? Do you have a knapsack? <laughs> I don't have a knapsack. He's dragging it's a the, backpack. He's dragging his backpack. You know, he's been to school all day and he's like. And his hair would be he's disheveled. He's hungry and, you know. I this, think, because I disagree with you, I think he's running away from the bus. To tell mom about how great his first day of school was. Okay. Well, we'll go with that. Because look, the bus is smaller in the background. I see. Okay. Well, but, you know, in any, choose your own adventure. In any event, um, this is this is him. Look at him. Look at him. And uh, the stripes of his shirt are wrong in the picture. What? And I had, oh. to, yeah, and I had to go back. That's and, funny. And chart the uh, symbols. Uh, That's weird show the green stripe on his shirt which makes a heck of a lot more sense really but what? i had to f go back and to have a green stripe it makes more sense yes why do you say that it just does to me okay um but i had to go back and that follow funny brenda's instagram feed oh, Maniac, yeah, yeah, yeah. because she's done all of these to get validation of the way i was interpreting it so she did it the way you did it right Okay. Interesting. And that's based on the fascinating um, symbol on the chart, right, right? Not the picture, right? So uh, what fabric is that? Uh, cream and sugar, something like that. Thirty-two count, something. Yeah, like. yeah. Okay, yeah. love well that for you. Yep, yeah. awesome. Um, it's the same one I did May on. Yes, yeah. May is up here. Right, right. Look at this Got stupid it. cat. <laughs> now hey. he's buried under the quilt. Yeah. Hey, he's not up here, and he's not getting up there, which makes you. Yeah, lose your mind. So I'm so. gonna really give it a college try. But I may not have it ready for the first of what? September, which what? I have been doing. If you can't do up it, to now, I don't know what we're gonna do with you. I don't know. I don't like not meeting my schedule. Well, figure it out. The first half of Whip Go for me was Land That I Love from Teresa Kogut. Yep. So and. Good. I had not stitched on this in a very long time, mm -hmm. but I made some significant progress, and it is going to go back in the wet pile. Very exciting. I am doing this on... 32 count. Yeah. Hold on. It's on the card. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wow. Stonewashed yep. Joblin from Under the Sea. Yep. Stonewashed. Mm -hmm. Under which, the Sea. Which, would you know from the name? That it's blue. And if I ever make another decision like this, <laughs> I will be very happy. What are you talking about? The decision oh. not to do it on a neutral. Oh, okay, okay. The decision to do it on blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. Because I am thrilled. Over the moon. Over the moon. So this is where I'm stopped now oh. on oh, I love land it so that I love on the stonewashed mm -hmm. Joblin. And um, that flag, man... This is where you say our cross stitch designers are artists. Mm -hmm. This is where you say that because it's that, so pretty. That is about as perfect a flag as yep. you can get. Amen. So pretty. Pam. I love it on the blue. Yep. Love it looks it on the gorgeous. Blue. Gorgeous. Still quite a bit to go, as you can oh, see. Yeah. I'm still way up, <laughs> way up oh, in the first. Yeah. But wait till you get to the houses. Holy shit. Yep. So that was the big. end of the rotation for that. Yay! For the foreseeable future. Bye bye. Of nice knowing you. And that I love. We'll see you later. Have a nice trip. And okay. Who did this bag? Do we know? I don't know, but it's a good bag. And it says land that I love right at the top. What? Isn't that fun? Mm -hmm. Great bag. Um uh, don't know. Shoot. No, nope, don't remember. Dang. If it was you, I love it. Yep. So there you go. Thank you. All Great. right. So <clears throat> you ready? Uh huh. Those are our whips of the week. Yo yo. Yo yo. Okay, we don't need that anymore. Okay, nope. You don't take it. Thank you much. All right. Okay. And. So, all righty. Promotions! Welcome to the Triple P, or the promotional portion of the program. Okay? And uh, this week, we have the Twin Peak Primitives Pattern of the Week, per usual, uh, which is uh, every week we pick a pattern um, in conjunction with the twins at Twin Peak Primitives, and um, we make... Together, we choose one pattern to be discounted by 20% for the following week for all of our amazing viewers. So, uh, this week's Twin Peak Primitives Pattern of the Week is what, Pam? Well, they have done a series called the um, Sign Series. Yes. And it's seasonal. Yes. And so, I uh, really like this one. This is the Sign Series autumn mm -hmm. and uh it has a lot of adorable colorful fall themed objects mm -hmm. in um uh, on, a, on sign. a sign on yeah a there sign. you go pam okay. on a sign yeah so uh we'll insert a picture here, here. Excellent. Yeah. So, if you love Sign Series Autumn as much as we love Sign Series Autumn, and you would like to get your hands on a discounted copy of the Pattern of the Week for this week, uh, you can do so. Uh, you can get a PDF copy from either the Twin Peak Primitives website or Etsy shop, both of which are linked below. If you uh, prefer to have a hard copy of the pattern, you can find a discounted hard copy at one place and that one place is TPP limited editions on Etsy. Everything Correct. is linked below for you. Yep. Okay? And okay. that is going to be discounted for one week. Yes, ma'am, it is. All right. That means it's time for mail, mail call. Okay. Okay. All right. So this came I think to keepsakes, I think. Can't remember. Um maybe, but it's from Marianne. Okay. And Marianne sent us a lovely uh, Marjolaine Bastin card. So cute. Love it. And a cute picture of a puppy. Aww. Love that. 
Um, and so she uh, bought a pattern twice, and it is this pattern by Dirty Annie Southern Style. And this, she said, we could either keep it or put it in a giveaway. And so, more than likely, it will go into a giveaway for all of you amazing people. Yeah. Okay? So, that will go in probably some sort of a nautical bundle. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, but thank you so much, Marianne. That was Absolutely. amazing. Thanks and then, it our way. Uh, we received a package from Amber. Amber. Amber is Rogue Mama Stitcher on YouTube. We've okay. shouted her out in the past. We have. Um, so if you haven't checked out Amber's floss tube, you should. She's a beautiful, beautiful stitcher and a very, very sweet, kind human. Yes, absolutely. So she sent us this amazing bag of goodies. Yes. There's so much cute stuff in here, including this adorable little Halloween card. Oh, I can't wait for fall. <gasps> oh, and, um, she sent us just like so much cute stuff. I think the main reason for yeah. her thinking of us, me, particularly, is because she Tell sent them. this, and this this is a, an amazing magazine. Mm -hmm. I, I'm so glad, uh, Amber, if you're getting this on a regular basis. Mm. Good going. This is yeah, called Crashion Quoi de Quoi. It is the French cross-stitch magazine, Put the claw. Prem, Premier, and what was in this issue that she thought I would be interested in, and I'm... It's towards the front. Okay. Yeah, it's the table runner. Okay, the table runner that is based on the Nutcracker. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking for uh, a picture that is not... There's just, not a full photo in there. There is no... Oh, yes, there is. Well, that's as full as you're going to get. Yeah. So it's... Uh, it's got all the characters. It's very, very colorful. Mm -hmm. And it's a table runner based on the Nutcracker. So cute. Look at those colors. Yes. <laughs> so okay, ma'am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was fun. Love it. Also, there are quite a few Veronique Angene mm -hmm. and we love designs her. and scene. We love Veronique. Yes. Um, the other thing that <coughs> was notable about, don't even think about it, Mac. <laughs> um, <coughs> it's just chuck a block full. Mm. Um, Maison de Noël. So you've right. got like this Christmas dollhouse. Yeah, that's really cool. I don't know where you would get this unless you subscribed. Um, get this in the States unless you subscribe. Yeah, I don't. That, um, I have no idea. Let's. Oh, I wanted to show them this tree. This is called. Well, I don't know what it's called. But it is a banner of a um, Christmas tree. He's fine. Fias. Yep. Fias. Yep. Can't do it all. Sorry, guys. Oh, it's fine. Hold on. Got it. Uh, this Christmas tree design is really lovely. That is so intense. So intense. But really cool. Um. So anyway, so she sent this amazing uh, magazine. Yes. And she said, "I'm sending you something I think you will like." Yep. You were right. Yep. And then she also sent from this uh, Etsy shop called Agnes Little Minders. Um, yep. This super beautiful needle oh, minder yep. with a little crab on it. Isn't that cute? It's so cool. Yeah. Um, and um, she said that could be for Pam's uh, summer Quaker, which is really you cool. You packed that very well. By you the sure way, did. Remember, with the separating the magnets. Yes, the... love that. Um, and so I will link Agnes's little minders on, on Etsy below. So you she have that. sent two pairs of scissors. Yep. I've never used these with the big finger holes mm. before. I'm trying to put it against a dark background. Oh, here. 
Um, yep. And these pink ones are lovely. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, uh, so thank you so very much, Amber. We appreciate it. Yeah. You're very, very sweet. So, excellent. And then this is the last piece of mail call. Okay. So, <clears throat> I participated, am participating in a couple of sales, because I can't resist a sale. Obviously. From historical sampler company in the UK. And um, so they reached out again. I think it's Joanne or Joanna and Suzanne are the two ladies who run historical sampler company. Now they're the arm of their company that uh, sells the monthly subscription boxes is cotton and twine. Yep, absolutely. So the girls reached out to me and said, would you like to try the subscription boxes for a bit and see what you think? And I said, sure. So, yeah, this is, you know, this is the box it comes in. So I opened it up to see what it was all about mm -hmm. and very nicely packaged. So this is the August 2024 design. Mm -hmm. It is absolutely just adorable. Mm -hmm. And it comes with everything you um, need to make that. Right. The uh, smaller bag contains your fabric and thread. So mm -hmm. I get the linen option. Yep. Then all the finishing materials, yep. including the um, pom pom. Pom pom trim. trim. Couldn't think of pom pom. That's all right. That's what I'm here for, too. The backing fabric. Cute. Cute, 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 cute. An adorable needle minder. Cute. It's got a Nightmare Before Christmas vibe. A tea bag. Obviously. Tea from England. That's a real treat. That's a real treat. And a bag of jelly beans from the UK. Mm -hmm. Love it. So, 36 um, huge flavors. Uh, just lovely, mm -hmm. just lovely. So um, that's fun. If you want to um, check that out, go to Historical Sampler Company on the um, internet and. Um, wow. What? I'm going to try one. Yeah. And see what you think. I mean, but 36 flavors sounds exciting. I thought this was very generous for a monthly subscription. Okay, let's see. The blue one, oh, this one is blueberry. Whoa, that is very blueberry. Oh, this one's gonna be difficult. Why? Because there's like 14 of them that kind of look the same. Oh, you're identifying them? Yeah, because they give you a little oh. thing on the back. Okay, well, why don't you taste it and then. I gotta get the blueberry one down first, so okay. just everybody hold on and suck it. Okay. So this is gonna either be French vanilla Mm. Or caramel popcorn. Oh, Ooh. I don't think I'd like caramel popcorn mm -hmm. in a jelly bean. There's also a slight chance it might be coconut. I think you're going to be able to tell right away. Hmm. Maybe not. Caramel popcorn. Okay. You took it for the team. I don't mm -hmm. think I'd like caramel popcorn. No. <laughs> but it's good. they're good. Those are good jelly beans. So that's Historical Sampler Company. Mm -hmm. Their monthly subscription. We're going to try it for a while, see what we think. Yes, absolutely. So far, so good. Yeah, we love it. All right. And that is okay. all of our mail call. It sure is. All right. Okay. So, haul. The haul. Yes. So, um, got some stuff in at Keepsakes. Um, I do want to finish the baseball mill hill that I've been working on. All I have left is the backstitch and the beads. Um, and so I had ordered the frame that goes with that. So that came in. So that's awesome. And in case you're wondering, see the little dowel that goes in this hole and then it just leans. Yeah, we love that. Then, um, got some haul in from Keepsakes. 
This is the number six in the Little House Native Works Log Cabin Christmas, and this is called In the Woods Deer. Very pretty. Love it. And then new from Plum Street. <laughs> this is called Quack Stack. I mean, hilarious. I just love it. Look at them ducks. They're, and like the little baby. Oh, it's amazing. I love it so much. And then um, this is called There is Liberty. Um, I'm going to just do the row of houses and not the words. But I think the row of houses is amazing. I love it. And then this is new from Puntini Puntini called Cats in her Save the Earth series. And it says, Save the Earth, it's the only planet with cats. And I have four cats in my family tree. And I'll do one of each. Mm -hmm. Very yeah. good. Wait, I still have more? Okay. Don't Sorry. Rush, don't rush me, Pam. Sorry. It's fine. Um, then, spoiler alert. Um, I got, I am in the Dying to Stitch Sampler Sewing Circle Club. Just want to make sure I get that right. And so, um, you know, it's sampler, sampler based, right? From Dying to Stitch. Love them. So, um, this is the second one for this year, quarterly. Uh, ideally, yes. Um, and then, so if you're in the club and you have not yet received yours and you don't want to be spoiled, look away now. But this is from Stacy Nash and it is called Liberty for All Sampler. Look at that. I love like the three sided different border. I think it's so cool. Um, and then you get all the things you need to stitch it. So... Um, including a needle. So I think she said that it's 36 count Patriots brew from R and R, obviously. Um, and yeah, amazing, amazing, amazing. So this is a great club if you can get into it. Uh, and then, uh, I mean, I don't think they have any openings right now, but if you keep an eye on the dying to stitch Instagram and social media pages, that's the place Did to Did you be. have to wait a long time to get in? No. Oh, so. Yeah. I just, I just sort of, when they said openings were happening, I just jumped on. So, okay. um, and then, uh, okay. Then I got my monthly patchwork bag from Jess at Como Stitches. And is this bigger than typically or no? Okay. Mm -hmm. Just look big no, she, in there. She does six by six typically. Okay. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Oh, it's so pretty. Wow. I love this. Not only because it is impeccably made, okay, but I love it because it doesn't necessarily fit a particular theme. Like, I could put any sampler in here. I could put any yeah. project in here. Gen like it's generic. We love it. Overall, beautiful bag. Yes. Yeah. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. And I think that, that this fabric is like the Lori Holt line. Uh, which is cool. Um, and then the inside of the bag. Beautiful brown neutral. Love it. So, yeah. once again, Jess, my dear, out of the ballpark. Okay. I love you, Jess. Out of the ballpark. Yep. So, um, that is all my haul. What do you have to show the people, Pam? Uh, this was a purchase from... Um, he stitched, stitched me. me. She was having a sale, right? Yep. So we picked up two that are more my count, 32. Yeah. We picked up um, a fat quarter of one more reproduction. And yes, we'll take it out of the plastic. And sugar cream pie, both fat quarters. Yeah. Great neutrals. Oh, yeah. And... We have some more fabric coming from 
uh, her too. Oh yeah. Yeah. I just, just put in an order yesterday. Wow. Yeah. It's all very exciting. Yep. Love that. Okay. Um, we're just now getting this. It's been out a while. Anyway, <laughs> fabulous houses, cottage garden. Uh, Sorry, I didn't know you were just sitting around waiting for something I to wasn't, stitch. but it's, I've seen it so often that I'm like, I don't know. we're just not getting a copy. Anyway, um, Cottage Garden, Fabulous House. Lighthouse, of course. Lighthouse. Mm, I love that seagull. Yeah. I love the whole thing. I mean, did you notice that he's balancing the ship on his tail? Yes, yes. I know yes. you said he liked the ship, but yeah, it's but just great. Too. And I love the patterns and the light beams. So cool. Yep. Okay, next. And this is um, a uh, Teresa Kogut, brand new. Um, actually, you get two in mm -hmm. this package. Um, one or both might have... Been Patreons. Yeah. Not sure. Okay. Anyway, she packaged them together, which is great. Mm -hmm. um, patriotic Tweet and God Bless America. So, God Bless America is the little one in the corner. And Patriotic Tweet is with the Bluebird. Yep. Love it. So pretty. Yep. Yep. Awesome. And uh, the Hello America book, which I think has two or three that were also pre-released for Patreon, of which I am a member, of which I am one. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it's a lovely, lovely book. Um, I mean, look at him. Yeah. Let me find my favorite 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 i mean these yeah this one is my the cover one well yeah <laughs> yeah i don't know it's a bigger picture in here but i don't want to crack the spine right away here i can show them up close anyway that one 1776 sampler love it love it love it yep amazing yeah and then is there another one that you liked as well yes I like that one though, for real. Mm -hmm. But uh, I honestly think that was a Patreon. Okay, well, congratulations. Uh -huh. I like this one. Okay. Wait, where is he? He's who I was trying to find. Oh, I love that. Really? I okay. think he's so cute. This land was made for you and me. Yeah. Kind of looks like he's got bomber pants. I on. love him. I love okay. him very much. Okay. Um, and. Yep, I think that that was all of it. Yep. But anyway, I just think her books are just so... I mean, also, let's take a moment for the artwork on the back. Oh, I know. It's Mac <laughs> and me <laughs> on a lamb. Yeah. Or a sheep. Yeah. Whatever you want to call it. Just riding into the Americana sunset. That's right. So pretty. Yep. Oh, yeah, hold on. And... Um, I saw this and we got all the birds from Robin Pickens and I saw somebody on Instagram who was stitching this and I said, mm. Stephanie, I said, we've got this right. And she just wasn't sure. Yep. Wasn't sure. And, and really so instead of taking time to actually look, just bought it again, just bought it again. Win Winterly sampler from Robin Pickens. I think that is adorable. It is. So there you go. Winterly sampler. Winterly sampler. So pretty. And then I've decided at age 69. <laughs> okay, go. Because I have time. Uh huh. I had no Teresa Wensler's singular charts. I have a book of, her, of the merry-go-round, the carousel horses. Mm -hmm. And who was showing... They're Teresa Winslers. I don't remember. Anyway, and I went, bye, Godfrey. Don't take it out of that. No. Bye, Godfrey. Oh, okay. I'm going to I'm gonna get this. Yeah, and you it are. it was fairly inexpensive on the secondary market, and it's called Trade Winds, and it's been out for an age, but... <laughs> if it's not new, that's for sure. <laughs> but it's got a ship on it, so I... I mean, just look at this, people. I mean, Stephanie's like... I mean, I'm not saying it's not beautiful. It's intense. It's just so intense. That's all right. I'm just saying, Pam, can I just tell you something? What? If this is not finished in your lifetime, it will never be finished. 
this then, is not this then is you a, can then you can dispose of as you wish i'm not going to dispose of dispose. it dispose it'll get framed half finished oh no don't do that oh no have somebody adopt it okay that's, that's I like that these are almost like pipes in the corner, though. Oh, yeah. I didn't notice that. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Easy nice. Anyway, think. so I've got a Teresa Wentzler in my possession. Well, that is, you know, just a thrill for you. You know, it truly is. And then last but not least, um, you remember our friend Rebecca at Stonehouse Stitching. And she had sent us a couple of great bags. Mm -hmm. uh, patriotic and cat themed. And... Um, so I started following her on Etsy, and yeah. she came out with a bag. So cute. We also love Debbie Mum. Well, I love Debbie Mum. I don't know whether you do or not. But she... I mean, I appreciate Debbie Mum, but that's fine. She had some Debbie Mum fabric, mm -hmm. Halloween-themed, mm -hmm. and listed it in her Etsy, and I went, yep, got to have that. Mm -hmm. So this is a bag from Rebecca, Stonehouse Stitching on Etsy, and it's... Debbie Mum fabric. Look at all the cute little details. I just think it's adorable. I have a lot of Debbie Mum in my stash. I mean, look at that cat. Yeah. It's just really cute. Yep. Very yep. cute. And fussy cut for the owl to be centered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so forth. Yep. Yeah. It's very cute. So that's from Rebecca. Yep. We love and, it. oh, show the zipper pull. That's oh. what I started to show. The skull. Isn't that cute? Yep. Very yeah. cool. Yeah. So. So, um... Awesome. So we did a little spending. You yeah. know, like I say, it's so a fun. diet, not a fast. Yep. For sure. Okay. All right. Add, Add to cart. cart. Excellent. All right. Uh, next up is the giveaway. And um, so if you recall, um, this is what we are giving away. And We had two. Right. It's uh, not that we didn't love it. We love it. Uh-huh. So we purchased one, and then we were sent a second one for PR. So yeah. um, that is where this one came in. So um, I will. we will insert the video of me pulling a winner for the Crossage in the Forest book here. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the giveaway portion of the program. I am here to do our, obviously, giveaway. That was redundant. Um, okay, so if this is the first time ever seeing us do a giveaway, let me just give you a bit of backstory. This is how we do things here at Just Keep Stitching. So we ask you to use a code word to enter for the giveaway. Use it in a sentence in the comment below the video. This week's word was lost, L-O-S-T. Uh, and the item that we are giving away is Cross Stitch in the Forest, a beautiful book by Max Pigeon of Pigeon Coop Designs. She's a lovely, thick book. We love her for all of our outdoorsy people and people that love nature. Okay, so uh, then I use the YouTube Random Comment Picker website here, uh, and then the keyword and then we put in the keyword, which is L-O-S-T for lost. Then see how many comments used the word lost. 176. So let's pick a winner. Jeanette Lee, 1973. Oh, you live in Arlington. Oh, you're a Rangers fan, though. I'm sorry about that. So glad you were here. So glad you didn't get lost in the Metroplex while visiting. Oh, Jeanette Lee. Congratulations, ma'am. You have won Cross Stitch in the Forest. So, uh, there is a email address to this fine lady right here in the description box of our videos. Right here. Right here. See? There's the email right there. Okay, right here. Pam's email. So you're going to send Pam an email with your mailing address, Jeanette, and uh, then we'll get your book out to you. So thank you all so very much for all of your wonderful comments. We love you so much. And I will send you back to regular scheduled programming now. 
Bye. So, congratulations to Miss Jeanette Lee, 1973. Yeah. And um, as soon as we hear from you, then we will get this in the mail to you. Absolutely. So congratulations and thank you all so much for entering the giveaway. Right. All right. All right. Um, as far as um, buying me a coffee and Kofi, mm -hmm. um, we want to thank, as we do almost every video, uh, we want to thank our friend Jana. Thank mm -hmm. you very much, Jana. Yes. Those links are in the description box below. If you would like to um, give us uh, a little contribution toward framing, finishing, and postage mm -hmm. expenses, it's, it, it's in $5 increments. Yes. And we appreciate anything that you feel like giving us. Feel like doing. Yes. Okay, under plans. Uh huh. So, uh, okay, so at this point, I'm going to give a little bit of a StitchCon update. So, if you are someone who doesn't give two rips about StitchCon, um, then we will see you next week. We'll see you next week. So, um, we love you so much. Thanks for hanging out. Yep. Um, okay, so uh, about a week ago, uh, we go Monday. Um, there was a post that was made on the Keepsakes social media pages in regards to the StitchCon 2025 update. So I'm going to share that same information here. So, um, so now it's with our philosophy audience. So if you've read that post and got that information, then nothing that I say is going to be new to you. But <clears throat> just in case anyone wants a walkthrough of that info, um, then that is what I'm going to do. So, um, okay. So the first thing of the process is to check to see if you can come to StitchCon next summer from a what's happening on your calendar. So we have marked the dates for StitchCon 2025. Weekend A of StitchCon 2025 will be June 12th through the 15th. And then weekend B will be June 19th through 22nd. So two back-to-back -back weekends, all of that is still the same. Registration fee is $275. That registration fee covers your seat at a table at StitchCon. It covers all of the swag that you get when you get there. And it covers your entirety of your StitchCon experience, except for your hotel, your travel, your food, and your spending money. So... Those four things you are responsible for. But to get into SitchCon, that is the amount that you pay us. It is a one-time fee. Um, and so, there you go. So, step one is to make sure that your calendar is good for SitchCon 2025, if you would like to attend. Next step is to get your name on the list to claim a spot at SitchCon 2025. We are doing 300 people per weekend just like we did, have done the last few years, next year. So, we do what we call a wait list. It's not necessarily like a wait list in its truest form, but that's just the easiest way to, that's the easiest term to use to make sure that people understand that just because you put your name on the list doesn't guarantee you have a spot. So if we call it like the registration, I feel like that might be confusing to people and think, oh, I put my name on the list, so I'm definitely in. Because yeah. you're not in until you get your invoice and pay your invoice. Right. right. So that's why we call it the wait list. Plus, it's a cumulative list. So we will go down through one by one, 300 for A, 300 for B, and then as soon as both weekends are full, then the rest of the remaining names on the list become the actual wait list, right? So, if you would like the opportunity to attend StitchCon 2025, the most important date you need to know is the date that that list opens. And that date is Wednesday, September 4th at noon Eastern time. Okay. There will be a link on the StitchCon website, which is www.stitch-con.com. I'll link it below for you. There will be a link on that page and it, like big, bold letters, all the things. And it will say, click here to put your name on the list for StitchCon 2025. Okay. The date to do that 
Wednesday, September 4th at noon Eastern. So, once you've done that, that's great. The information that we need when you put your name on that list is your first name, your last name, your city and state in which you live, your PayPal email address, and then also the rest of the information is totally optional. Your Instagram, your Facebook, um, your business name, obviously only if applicable and if you want to share it with us. Um, and then once you submit all that information, and also please remember that the first name that you give us and your city and state that you give us will be what we use on your name tag if and when you get a seat at the event. Okay? So just keep that in mind. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, you don't have to pay us anything on September 4th. We just need that information and to put your name in line for a spot. Okay? So, then you wait a month. Okay? So, starting the first Wednesday, I don't know the exact date, but it is the first Wednesday of October is when invoices for StitchCon 2025 will begin going out. I will talk more about the invoice process and how all of that works as soon as we get, like when we get closer. Let's get through the wait list and then we'll talk about the invoice process. But if you want to come to StitchCon 2025, then you need to put your name on the list that opens on Wednesday, September 4th at noon Eastern. Okay? So, um... We do not hold spots for anyone. So it is a first come, first serve situation. Okay? If coming to StitchCon is something that is important to you, then set your alarm to put your name on the list. The longest we have ever had the wait list open is 36 hours. So do not delay. Set your calendars, set your alarms, Phone a friend, tell your people that live in your house, do what you need to do to put your name on the list, okay? Also, um, I will, um, so probably, well, since StitchCon, there really has not been very much monitoring of the StitchCon email. I'm just going to be honest with you because we don't have StitchCon going on right now, right? So with September 4th, fast approaching. Um, I will go back into the inbox, answer some emails if there are any that need to be addressed, um, and then sort of wipe the slate clean and get ready for 2025. So that is coming as well. So um, just know that. Um, and then also if you are in the Facebook group for SitchCon 2024, I will be removing all of the members from that group the evening on September 3rd. Um, and then I will be flipping the group over to StitchCon 2025. So, then we're all ready for next year. Okay? No. So, I know that's a lot of information, but most importantly, Wednesday, September 4th at noon Eastern, put your name on the list. It's coming, people. So, coming. very exciting. Um, and if you are not already subscribed to the Keepsakes newsletter, you can do that through a link on the Keepsakes website, which I cannot recommend enough. Um, and then there will be, because if you get a newsletter, there will be StitchCon information that will be included in that. So, um, and also obviously the Keepsakes, social media, Instagram, Facebook, those kind of things. So, very, very exciting. Yes. And um, so there's that. Mm -hmm. But the biggest thing that we want to reiterate is I know that it is a large event. I know that it can be overwhelming, but let me tell you that if you are someone who has always had StitchCon on your bucket list, take advantage of it because we wipe the slate clean. There's no promised spots. I promise you, you will have a wonderful time. Give us a shot. Let us prove you. Let us prove to you how great it is. Yes. So, um, we'd love to see you in Cincinnati next summer. So absolutely. And don't you want to see my face and her your face? 
So that right. is the Stitch Crown update for this episode. Yeah, things are happening. Yes. Things are happening. So. Things are moving. All right. So that is it for this week. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Um, so we hope that you are doing well. And um, if you are retreating, hope yes. you're um, uh, enjoying that. If you are um, hustling your kids out the door for school, we know you're enjoying that. Uh -huh. um, and the, um, the weather is probably transitioning from one to the other. Uh, season wherever you live mm -hmm. and um, that's always exciting yep so um, we uh, are going to um, get back to our stitching mm -hmm. this afternoon and um, looking forward to another baseball game and um, generally having a good time mm -hmm. so um, we will see you in a week mm -hmm. And we'll have more stuff to show you, inspire you, enable you, and all that jazz. Oh, see. In the meantime, I'm Pam. And I'm Stephanie. And this is Just, Just Keep, Keep Stitching. Bye! Bye.